So as we're all well aware, a couple days ago, the fine folks at IK Multimedia just released their incredible new Tonex pedal that basically acts as a hardware player for their tone models from their incredible Tonex software ecosystem. Now, when I did a video about this, I received a ton of questions asking, how can we use this with our Line 6 Helix or HX Stomp? Can it be integrated easily? What are the ways we could use it? And today I'm going to cover two main ways that we can integrate this in with our Helix or HX Stomp rigs that can really open some doors to some new possibilities for us as Helix users. So I really hope you enjoy this. I don't want to go on too much about this. Let's dive right in and see what we can do. So here we are over in HX Edit, and I have one of my presets up here that is available in the Line 6 Marketplace. It's called the 4Cable Ultimate, and this is actually set up in 4Cable method with a real guitar amplifier. In this case, we're going to utilize Tonex Pedal as the real amplifier. Amplifier. Now, I have made a small change to this on the output. I've set this to multi for the simple reason that uh, I have it normally set to quarter inch output because that's the way it's going to be set up with an amplifier, but I would make this tweak to it. So basically what our signal flow is going to be in this case is my guitar is plugged straight into the Helix and the Helix is receiving the guitar input. The signal flow then passes through these effects that I want before my amplifier. So I have a, a wah and I have different effects here, a couple distortion pedals. And then I go to a send block, which is going to send send the signal out. Now it's very important on this send block that I am going to go to my global settings on my Helix and set this as an instrument output, not line level, because this send is going to be feeding. And I notice I have it on send one. So I would plug send one out of the Helix into the input, the guitar input of the Tonex pedal. The guitar input of the Tonex pedal is expecting to see an instrument level signal because that's where we would normally plug our guitar into it. So we would want to go to global settings and set send one to instrument level. We then would plug the output, the mono output of the Tonex pedal into return two. And I have this actually set with 6 dB of volume boost just to give me a little bit more volume coming back into the Helix from Tonex. That's not going to affect our tone at all. It's just going to be a clean boost of volume just so we can get our levels up nicely. And we're going to, like I mentioned, have the output, the left mono output of Tonex pedal coming out of Tonex pedal into return two, and we would want to set that in the global settings to line. We've now inserted our Tonex pedal into the signal chain right here, and it's going to act as our amplifier and our cabinet. We then send that to the post amp effects, which would be all of these. Now, a couple things on our Tonex pedal that we would want to have set up properly as well. So here we are over on Tonex pedal. Now, if we want to set this up properly, I obviously have, if you noticed, reverb set up on my Helix 4 Cable Ultimate. So we'd probably want to make sure that our reverb is turned off. And the way we do that is with our parameter control. Press it once and then scroll. till we find where it says reverb. Press our parameter control again, and then we can see we can simply turn it on and off. So I want that off. Now, there is another thing in here. We're gonna back out of that, stay in our parameter control, and we're going to navigate to where we're controlling our compressor. Now, as a lot of you know, I like to throw a compressor after my amp block. And it's the same thing in a lot of my Tonex presets. So if you notice here, I could just turn the comp on or off. But in this case, I'm going to keep it on. And you'll notice I rotated to a place called comp patch. And that allows us to patch the compressor before the amp or after the amp. Now, if I'm after the amp, like I am here in post, we can actually use the compressor gain control to get more volume out of our preset. Now, if we were set with the compressor 
in the pre-setting, we would not want to use that gain control as the overall volume because that would be hitting the front of the amp harder, which would cause more breakup or saturation. So we'd have to be careful with this. So that's a little bit complicated, but something that's really well worth thinking about. So if I have this set to pre for the comp, or if the compressor is turned off altogether, I could simply use the amp volume on my tone model preset to control the volume. But if I have my compressor set to post, we now would want to avoid changing this amp block volume for the simple reason that that is going to hit the front of our compressor harder or softer and giving us more or less compression. So in the case of running your compressor after your amp or in the post setting, we would want to access our deeper functions. We would want to go into the compressor gain and adjust from there. And I'm going to leave it actually at the plus 10 dB just to give me a little bit more signal. So again, in that situation, if we are using a compressor before the amps with the presetting, we would not want to use the compressor gain to adjust the overall level of our tone model preset. We would want to use the main volume of our tone model preset, our amp block within the tone model preset. If we have compressor set to post, so it's after the amp, then we can use and should use the compressor gain control to turn up or down sort of the overall volume of our preset. Now there is another way to control this as well. We can go into global settings. We can navigate to main volume and in there, we also get another possible plus 3 dB of volume boost as an overall global setting. We can also cut the volume in there. And I hope my hand's not in the way of that. I'm actually using my JS2203 Ultimate. So this is my tone model that I have available on my website at the link below. That's of my Marshall Studio Classic JCM800 lead sound. I really love these tones. So now that we're all set up, we have the Tonex pedal injected into the Helix 4 Cable Ultimate preset that I have available on the Line 6 Marketplace. And now we should be able to utilize our Tonex pedal as our amp and cab and utilize the Helix 4 effects. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> I could turn effects on and off. Now, what if we actually wanted to utilize the cabs within the Helix? Well, that would be very simple as well. I would just simply want to insert a cab after the return block on my Helix so that I would have this signal coming from guitar into Tone X, back into Helix, and then we would have a cab block right here. Now, I don't have room here since I have more effects. Let me pull that down to the second path so we free up a space over here. I could now come over to this empty block find a cab block, let's go with a 412 greenback, I'm gonna mic that up with a 120 ribbon, pull it a few inches back. Now I would have to go over to my Tonex pedal and disable the cab block.
Now we've disabled the cab lock and we have a cab on the Helix now. and have a whole other set of tones at our fingertips. So there you have what I would feel would be probably one of the most common uses of utilizing Tonex within Helix, but there is another use. Tonex can also act as just a player for overdrive pedal captures as well, which is also a very interesting way to use this. Let's head back to HX Edit and see exactly what we can do in this regard. So here we are back over in HX Edit, and I have a little preset set up with just simply a US Deluxe Vibe a cab here with a 110 US Princess with a 160 ribbon, and just a little bit of dynamic ambient. So I actually have this amp block set up to sound like this. And all we're hearing there is the Helix. Tonex is not involved here. So a couple options here. We could have our guitar plugged into our normal guitar input on our Helix, or we could choose to plug our guitar into the guitar input on Tonex pedal, since that could potentially be our first in line. Now, if we do plug into the Tonex pedal, that means that that overdrive pedal will always have to be the first thing in our signal path. So I think the best way to do this is, I have taken the same setup as I had before. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to come in and I have my guitar plugged into the guitar input of my Helix. I'm then going to send out, so I'm going to add a send block, just a mono send block, send one, out to the instrument input of Tonex pedal. Now the instrument input on Tonex pedal is expecting to see a guitar or instrument level input. So I would want to, again, like I mentioned already, go to my global settings, make sure send one is set to instrument. And this is why folks ask me, why don't you just use a, a send and return block for just like an effects loop on number one? Because I need to set the send to instrument and I need to set the return to line. So I'm gonna come back here and the output of Tonex pedal is going to be assigned to return to. So basically the signal flow, I'm gonna set the mix to 100%. The signal flow is gonna be guitar into the helix, which is going to send that signal out through send one set to instrument level in our global settings into Tonex pedal on the guitar or instrument input, back out of the line output of Tonex pedal, the mono left output to the return to on the Helix, which is set to line in. We've now inserted the Tonex pedal before the amp, and that means we could actually move it around. We could move it before the amp, we could move it after the amp. I don't know why you'd necessarily wanna do that, but you never know, maybe you would. So it gives us that flexibility of being able to move this around. So now that we have that on, I can come over to Tonex pedal, and you'll notice that I have a capture of one of my favorite pedals called the Dumbler pedal, and I've captured this, and this is no cab on this, it's just a guitar overdrive pedal capture. If you notice, switch A is flashing, meaning that is the active tone model, but it's not turned on, it's not engaged. So if I engage that, let's listen to the tone beforehand. Here's the tone without the Tonex pedal. That's just the Fender Deluxe model that we have in the Helix. Let's engage the pedal. Now you might ask why it's so important to have the send assigned as an instrument level output. And here's the reason why. Here's the sound with it set to instrument.
Here's it set to line. Back to instruments. When we switch it to line, we get a much hotter signal hitting the front end of the amp, and that is just going to saturate that amp more. So, I mean, if you have it set there, it's not going to be a disaster. Things will still work, but you may not be getting the tone that you are after that you desire because we're hitting the front of that amp a lot harder and it is saturating a lot more. Folks have also asked about whether to use stereo or mono outs. You'll notice I didn't get into stereo today. Uh, the reason being is there's really no stereo elements in Tonex pedal except the reverb. So if we're utilizing the reverb in Tonex pedal and we want to maintain that as stereo, then yeah, we could uh, take the left and right out. And in that case, we would return this to two returns. We would need like, let's say two and three, which would then allow us to split the paths and preserve stereo. But I'm really not going to get into that simply because I don't think there's a huge need for that. But that is another possibility for setup. All right, what do you guys think of that? That's a couple ways we can integrate Tonex pedal into our Helix ecosystem. And I think that this would be kind of a match made in heaven. You might ask, why should I do this? I've got great amps in the Helix, and that's absolutely true. And I don't know if I will necessarily run it this way myself, but let's say that there's a tone model that you just love that we don't have in the Helix. For the price point of what Tonex Pedal is going for, it's a fairly inexpensive way to add new amp models to our Helix or HX Stomp. Maybe there's some great third-party models, some of the stuff that I have, different captures of Fender Deluxe Reverb or, or Marshall-style amps or Rev amps. I've got a whole lot of those tone models at the link below on my website that you can go listen to and see if you like those, but we could easily integrate that in. And really, with Tonex Pedal, for the price of just a normal effects pedal, we can have this ability to have a lot more amp models. We can also capture our own models. If you had a prized amp at home that you would love to have in your Helix, well, now you kind of can. You can do your tone models, have that on Tonex pedal, and integrate that in with your Helix. So it isn't going to be for everybody. I know some folks come in the comments and go, oh, this is not for me, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be for you. Nobody's saying it has to be for you, but it is just another option, and that is the way that I would utilize it with my Helix in a couple ways that could be extremely useful. So I hope you guys found that helpful. I hope you found it useful. Please share the video with anybody who you think could get some use out of it. And also please like the video. And also please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content. I hope that that was helpful and useful. And I hope that I explained it in a clear manner. Thank you guys so much for sharing your time with me. We'll talk very soon. Ciao for now.